Arcade. Welcome back, my friendos, to the Zeeum Museum. Today, we're going to continue our whimsical adventure through this virtual art gallery. It's been a wild ride from that first episode, so I don't know what's gonna, what we're expecting next. But what I do know is that I'm going to put on some new music for this uh, episode here. Well, last time we had library sounds, now we're doing nature sounds. Beautiful chirps of the birds, the babbling of a brook. Very, very calming. Also, last episode I completely forgot to check out the exhibits on the first floor. There, I think there are two more left, so we'll go check those out before we continue on the third floor. And how would we best to start with here at uh, The Residue by Studio Aliomingus. God, I hope I'm saying that right. So let's see. Oh, what is this? To enter the residue, press the room, or enter the room and press enter. To leave at any time, press escape. Oh, so it's like interactive. Interesting. It's a spooky dark room. Okay. Very contrasted chair. This is, does not fit the nature sounds at all. Um, guess I should press enter, right? I pressed enter in the game for- oh! I was teleported into a box made of Swiss cheese. Interesting. Is this the exhibit? What is this here? A long time ago, there used to be an exhibit here. But every visitor who came to witness the grandeur of its form was so tempted by its glorious aspect that bits and pieces of the exhibit kept being stolen. Here, a finger would be chopped off and carried away, and there there a piece of golden gilt and sometimes a cog or spoon would be taken until that remained of until all that remained of the exhibit was this empty room. Ew. <laughs> it's a bit gruesome. Now, we sit here and ponder what purpose the exhibit served. What did it look like? Who built it and why? How large was it? And what was it made of? Yeah, I really wonder. Was this, this was the room that enclosed the exhibit. So there is no exhibit, unless this is an exhibit on within the exhibit. Okay, uh, sometimes we venture stories about the apparatus to each other and feel satisfied that in our pondering we may have reached closer to the truth of its existence. This is our purpose now. The museum, our temple, and the recollection of the exhibit that no longer exists is our salvation. S spooky. That's cool. So, so the Zeeum Museum is it one giant exhibit with a bunch of smaller exhibits inside of it. I go inside that smaller exhibit, I'm transformed, transformed, transported into this even tinier exhibit, and then this exhibit is missing this exhibit. So, interesting. That makes, makes you think, made you think. That's cool, I like the little holes in the wall. Alright, uh, it said escape to go back, so... I pressed escape, and... The music is playing! But the game is not. This can be a problem. I'm just gonna hold up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I got I got worried for a second that the game froze and I, I was gonna have to restart or something. Oh jeez, that was that was really interesting. I like a uh, interactive exhibits. Even as a kid, like when I was a kid, God, art museums were boring as hell. Though I'm a mature adult now and I can appreciate them. But whenever an exhibit had a touchy bit, oh man, my hands were all over it. So now we're at the Prompt Atrium. Beyond this point is the Prompt Atrium. A group of artists were given three prompts, a meal, a plant, a piece of technology, and asked to create one 3D model based on each prompt. These are their stories. Oh, interesting, so now they had like a little artist game. Ooh, we might just spend the entire episode down on the first floor again. Oh, okay, hold up. This, this, is, this is what caught my mind immediately, so this person obviously chose food. The, the small hamburger has gravity of its own. It has this very strong gravitational field that causes the french fries to orbit around it, and this can be a metaphor for uh, consumer capitalism in the United States. Wow, that was an odd stretch. Okay, so this was by Charlie Stone. AKA Chip Forest, the Zero Gravity Space Burger. Well, the fucking title of that doesn't hide any hide anything. This is definitely a Zero Gravity Space Burger. 
your standard burger with fries only in zero gravity. By decree of the uh, this oh, it's not interactable. I can't eat it. Oh, that's a shame. Press enter on it. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a, it has a little face. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. Ah. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, little meat man with a knife in your face. I, I'm not supposed to... T the alarms are going to go off, and I'm going to get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> Ouchie. Ouchie, indeed. Is, it like, is that his face right there? And there's his two eyes, and he's got this little slab of meat. He's got a knife jammed into him. Alivi Olivia Horsley. Ouchie. <laughs> Oopsie. So this one is interactable, but it has no audio. Oh, I see. So every model may be or may not be interactable. Mold by Connor McCann. <laughs> God, I hate mold. I hate mold so much. It's like getting moldy bread. Get mold on your bread. You got to throw out all the bread. It's very disappointing. Also, it tastes bad. Dan Emerson in Trunk Salmon. This looks low poly edible. Oh wait, oh, yeah, I forgot I can zoom in. Ah, oh, there we go. It all it, the salmon in all of its grandeur. Little tiny berries. Not sure what that is. Those little berries. They're like tiny, tiny, tiny oranges. Like clementines. Farah Kalaf. I'm gonna. Time for me to murder everyone's names. Meal. That is a meal. Looks like a little uh cheese. Little strips of cheese with a fork. You eat it with a fork because we're all civilized people. We don't use our hands. Jav, Jav did rice. Jav, Jav, Japanese adult video. Oh dear. That is, oh, don't touch the rice. <laughs> I wonder, just like, can I just, oh, ooh, that, that meal over here. Oh geez, that texture it lagged my game for a second. GP. Half heart fruit and garnish with grease torrid. Tor toroid. Toroid. Hemorrhoid. Bowl of warm cubits and honey drink. This is the kind of rustic comfort food best enjoyed on autumn nights. Huh. This definitely looks rustic. I like the little the, the toroid. Also known as a donut. Nice soup. Oh, I could pick up everything. Don't know what the point of picking up things is, because. I'm just gonna subsequently drop them on the floor. There, put that. Spins on that table, that's neat. We've got Colchius. Brie served at the Colise as the Colosseum. Uh, it's Brie cheese formed into the shape of a Colosseum. I bet you can do that in real life too. But I probably should have eaten before I played this game, especially had gone into this room because this is making me very hungry. I don't think. You guys need the definition of meal. <laughs> chicken! Chicken! Thank you, Matthew Keff. <laughs> oh, the chicken has weird lighting. It changes when I pick it up. What is this one? Toast with peanut butter on Royal Albert by Nick Preston. That's, that's some cute toast on some cute china. And, and a nice little presentation there. Commander Space Cat! <laughs> oh, that's... It's a fantastic name in Pancake Party. <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, <laughs> this is this is one of my favorites here. I like it has the the action to it. As it, like it's a still, you know, but it has action in its stillness. God, could describe how can I describe that any worse than I just did? But hopefully you understand what I mean. Peptabismal, no meal by Peach Royalty. Peachy Royalty. That's oh, like a little thing I would eat. Just, you know, take it to the park, snack on some apple slices. Ooh, whoa! <laughs> what? Did I just, like, go into that meal? The, the space backyard meal does have audio. So this is audio. Oh. Oh. This is some crazy space ramen. I can't interact with it, but... This, this infinity, the infinity ramen. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna interact with you. I'm gonna put you fi fix fix things there. Oh, I can't place you on there. Oh, it, it magically float floats. Grapefruit. I hate grapefruit juice. I, I it's too bitter for me. It, I always think I'll like it, and then it, ooh. oh, oh, and then it's just bitter. Oh, space backyard. You yeah, made another one. This this has audio. 
Again. Plant. Space plant. Oh. It's really spooky. Uh, whatever effect that is, it's going nuts though. That particle effect. Here we have El Olivia Horsley in Growing Friend. Oh, it's a little friend. Oh. Ah! I'm sorry, friend. No! There. Okay. Everything's safe. We're okay. <laughs> Charlie Stone again, Chip Forest, Night Peach Tree. Oh, a little uh, dialogue here. The Night Peach Tree is a plant that only grows at night, using energy from the moonlight, hence the blue color of its leaves. The fruit itself looks like a peach, but is accompanied by a peculiar blueberry taste. Huh. I love blueberries, except they're expensive. Imagine a peach-sized blueberry. That sounds fantastic. I like your imagination, Charlie. Chip Forest. That is some delicious looking fruit. Connor McCann in Seed. Oh. Oh! You know, if you guys have ever played the game Abduction by the people who made Mist, uh, they're, they're in, the, in the game, there are these things called Seeds, and they look a lot like that. So maybe, you know, Connor McCann, he played Abduction and then got inspired? Possibly. They're very, very similar. <laughs> I'm surprised I remembered that reference. Jeez. Dan Emerson in Solar Unit, a.k.a. Photosynthesis Plant. Farakalaf. I Every time I say your name wrong, I'm sorry. Plant. A little white stump. Jav made rice plant. Ah! To make the rice meal. Over there, I see. I see. There's a story to his art. Plant. I'm not going to define plant. GP here with... The largest exhibit again, doing marsh grasses and glow cups in semi-natural setting. The atmosphere of a, the atmosphere of humid marshes captured in a miniature garden. If I could like shrink myself down, that would be really cool. And the effect of like the water flow. I'm gonna let's let's pretend it's um milk. It's just a lot of uh, gooey milk flowing in into the plants. This is beautiful. <laughs> let's let's finish up this room, and then I guess we have to continue on the next episode. Jeez, time goes by fast when you're looking at this awesome art. Calcius in several platform plant forms contained within a matrix from which they may look out into the world. That is a mouthful. Well, I always forget. I can sort of pick it up. Oh no, poor plant friends. Ah, gotcha. There we go. They 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 view the world. They look. Through the world they got little eyes that's how they they view the world and now they are staring through your soul matthew keff in plant very basic plant looks like uh something i would set up in my lego when i play with legos you know one of those lego plants it's cute low poly always low poly is good nick preston in oh boy rhododendron cunningham's white Interesting. And a little, nice little uh, presented box again. Nicole Rusk, a.k.a. Space Commander Cat. Commander Space Cat. A little bit of a dyslexia slip up there. Plumeria. That is a pl plumeria. I like... It's not in a pot. It's in a floating... Dirt. <laughs> floating soil. I like it. I like it a lot. Wow. Oh, we got one more. Nina Pal. Peachy Royalty. Untitled. Well, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. The, uh, it looks like it was painted on the outside, and that's really neat. It has a very, like, neat texture to it, like sort of a watercolor texture. Ooh, I really, ah, I really like that. That's really cool texturing. Good, good on ya. Nice little, uh, hot chocolate soil there, too. Oh, geez, so in the next room, we got one more room left, but I think, I think we'll leave it. The technology room, we're gonna leave it to the next episode. I should be doing these, uh, museum walks more often well thanks for watching guys and thank you again to all the wonderful artists that i have seen so far in the museum i can't wait to check out more so hold just sit tight we'll do some more museums soon